Do you spend more time improving your speaking up skills than your or your listening skills? I'm going to guess you spend more time improving your speaking up skills. But what if we told you your influence would increase if you focused on improving your listening skills? I'll tell you, apparently, when there are workshops out there for leaders, the ones that get filled up the fastest are, you know, how to improve your power of speaking up. (laughs) And often the ones on the power of listening get canceled. (laughs) But we don't recognize that this is a huge tool. And one of the things that gets in our way of listening is our own defensiveness. And one thing about defensiveness is we all get defensive. We're actually wired to get defensive. It's normal. But you cannot be defensive and actually listen at the same time. In other words, you can't be defensive and practice connection or relationships in any sort of healthy way. So it really is important to recognize your defensiveness. And a lot of times we don't. And when one key that you can recognize when you're defensive, if you focus on the negative, you, you come out with a critical comment, you're probably in a defensive stance. Mm-hmm. And so we want to encourage you, one, to notice, be <clears throat> motivated, and develop strategies for shifting from defensiveness to listening because it will improve your influence. And one of the keys that we talk about when you're in your defensive stance is don't respond. Actually take a breath and just reflect back what you're hearing this other person say, including their emotional tone. This will buy you some time to settle yourself down and even be open to listening. It's really important. One, it's important for the other person because then they have the experience of actually getting that you did catch which they ha- or have some understanding of what they said. Plus, it gives you, like Chris Marie said, the time to unwind and potentially notice your defensiveness and take a different approach. Because one of the things that we learned from listening to uh, uh, the, the rest of the Brené Brown and Harriet Lerner uh, podcast, podcast <laughs> on apologizing is that really, we, if we could only become as passionate about listening as we are about, as, as our passion to be heard, can you imagine how much better we would be in business in our lives and in our relationships. So today we want to encourage you to, when you're in a situation with uh, a boss, a peer, your spouse, and you're kind of a little, you're feeling that negative energy come up, pause, take a breath and reflect back what you're hearing, including the emotional tone and see if you can move to a place of really open and listening. And you, you'll watch, you're going to see your dynamics shift in that relationship. I'm Chris Marie Campbell, and I'm a leadership coach, and I help people deal with their stress and mindset so they can perform fabulously. And I'm Susan Clark, and I'm a relationship and leadership coach, and I work with people in the area of crisis, conflict, and change. And we're the author of the two books, The Beauty of Conflict and The Beauty of Conflict for Couples. So hope you enjoy today's tip.